Good morning children this is Mrs Sanju Malim from Springfield's Masap Tank biology teacher for class 10th As you all know that we are in the lesson number 5 coordination and we have covered most of it now today we'll be doing the last part of the lesson which shall include about the phytohormones the plant hormones major plant hormones and the charles darwin experiment and also the tropic and the nastic movements and actually how the plants respond to the stimuli we are going to study today how do plants respond to stimuli plants respond to stimuli by growing in a particular direction and because of the directional growth it appears as if the plant is moving tropic movements or tropism in the is the plant's movement that is determined by the direction of an environmental stimulus tropic movements can be towards the stimulus or away from the stimulus plants actually have a well defined nervous or endocrine system they have some mechanism of control by means of some chemicals or hormones so i will talk to you what are the tropic movements that is when the plant is responding to the external stimuli in some direction they are called as the tropic movement that various tropic movements we will study in detail in this session let us see what are the major plant hormones and their action actually plant secretes various hormones for various purposes for example abscisic acid it is responsible for closing of stomata and seed dormancy auxins are responsible for cell elongation and differentiation of shoots and root cells cytokines are responsible for promote of cell division promoting of sprouting of lateral buds delaying the aging in leaves and opening of stomata ethylene is responsible for the ripening of fruit and gibberellins is responsible for the germination of seeds and sprouting of buds elongation of stem stimulation of flowering development of fruit breaking the dormancy in seeds and buds now children all these functions are important as well as hormones because in exam you will be given the multiple choice questions which of the following is responsible for the ripening of fruit then you must know that it is ethylene which is responsible for the closing of stomata abscisic acid like that so you should know the functions as well as the hormones so these are the hormones of the plants which are called as the phytohormones these are called plant hormones or the phytohormones plant hormones are chemical compounds present in very low concentration in plants they are derivatives of indole that is auxins terpenes gibberellins adenine that is cytokines carotenoids abscisic acid and gases ethylene so they are derived from these things ethylene is a gas plants can sense the presence of stimuli like light heat water touch pressure chemicals and gravity and accordingly they will release the hormones growth of the shoot in plants is response in response to a light stimulus is called as the phototropism that is when the plant is growing in response in response to light in response to light if you keep the plant near the window you will observe that the stem will grow uh, will try to go come out of the window go out it will bend towards the sunlight that is phototropism to demonstrate it we will place a potted plant in a box in which light comes from only one direction in such in a, for a few days we will observe that the shoot has moved towards the side from which the light came in the box either you can do this experiment or you can keep a potted plant near the window such that the sunlight falls on it so you will observe that the growth takes place in the direction of the light that is called as the phototropism that is the plant is responding to light now we were talking about the plant hormones how were they discovered the first hormone discovered among the plant hormones is the auxins by the went now charles darwin and his son francis darwin carried out some experiments in to discover how the 
plants respond to the chemicals some of the earliest experiments on phototropism were carried out by charles darwin and his son francis in the 1880 they observed the effects of the directional light on young grass seedlings when the grass seedlings germinate the leaves are initially protected by a cylindrical sheath called as the coleoptile these coleoptile are ideal for studying the phototropism now the first so- experiment shows that this shows that young shoots bend towards the directional light wherever the light will come the shoot will bend there now the second is because of the hormone oxygen here yeah. the second is if an opaque foil cap is placed over the tip of the grass seedlings then the bending does not take place that means the light could not reach because the cap was metallic and it was opaque the light could not travel through it and so the hormone was not released so there was no bending in the third one if an opaque foil collar is placed below the tip that is the light is allowed to fall on the tip so the bending occurs as usual from this experiment we can conclude that the phototropism takes place as in when in which direction the light falls in that direction the growth and the bending takes place the same type of experiment is again here one more the same thing is demonstrated how the bending take place by the directional light and how if the when the tip of the stem is removed and it is covered by the opaque cap no bending when it is covered by the translucent cap transparent cap then the bending took place the growth took place the oxygen was released and when it was put the cap was put on the base again the bending took place and also when the tip was separated by gelatin block also it took place the bending took place and when the tip was separated by mica the bending did not take place so from all these experiments what we conclude here is you have to remember that the bending take place in the direction of the light that is the hormone is secreted oxygen is secreted in this way the first hormone oxygen was discovered now i was talking to you about the tropic movements that is phototropism that is the res- plants respond to light yes yes so what are nastic movements the direction of movement may not be determined by the direction of stimulus in plants this type of response of the plant is called as the nastic movement we will see the examples also so nastic movements means what you understand where the direction of the movement of plant is not determined by the direction of stimulus we don't know we, because of what stimulus the direct the plant has taken the movement but in the tropic movements the directional movement in plants is in response to specific stimulus direction of the stimulus like light gravity chemicals water heat touch pressure so all these movements are called as the tropic movements when the plants responds when the movements of the direction of the movements of plants are in response to the direction of the stimulus they are called as the tropic movements here we have the examples also nastic movements and the tropic movements growth is independent in nastic movement it is dependent on the factors time of action is immediate in nastic and it is slow in the tropic movements response to stimulus is non directional whereas it is directional in tropic movements reason for action change in turgor in nastic movements cell division take place in the tropic movements alternate name is nastic and here tropic movements are called tropism now for example nastic movements are you must have heard about the mimosa plant touch me not yes when you touch the plant the plant f- 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 leaves gets folded not depending upon the direction of the stimulus and also the opening and the closing of stomata these are the examples of the nastic movements whereas the examples of the tropic movements are phototropism geotropism hydrotropism thigmotropism chemotropism all these are the examples and we will see in detail what are they when the plants respond to light then that tropic movement is called as the 
phototropism plants response to gravitational force is called as the geotropism as you all know we have seen in the phototropism when you keep the pot near the window the plants will grow towards the light they bend towards the light and we also know that geotropism that is how the roots are positively geotropic they grow towards the soil and the shoot is negatively geotropic against the gravity shoot grows and then the response of plants to water that is called as the hydrotropism you know that how the water in the soil the the roots grow in the soil wherever water is there they go in search of water that is called as the response to water hydrotropism then response of plant to touch is called as the thigmotropism now that is thigmotropism is normally you have seen the climbers yes tendrils when they come in contact their stems are weak when they come in contact with any thing they climb around it they twine around it that is called as the touch respond to touch thigmotropism and we also have the chemotropism that is response of plants to chemicals now you must have uh, seen that many times the some plants some flowers they have the sweet smell and they secrete the nectar and sugary substances so what happens these chemicals they attract the insects and that helps in the for the pollination so this in res- whatever plants respond to chemicals is called as the chemotropism chemotropism so we have seen phototropism geotropism hydrotropism thigmotropism and chemotropism these are the examples of the different tropic movements with this we have finished the lesson number 5 coordination now to in today's class we have seen what are phytohormones plant hormones and their function charles darwin experiment tropic and nastic movements in plants and also the control mechanisms in plants that is different types of the tropic movements take down homework write about the major plant hormones and their functions in a tabular form you can write from the pdf also write the differences between the nastic movement and the tropic movement with examples you can write again from the video or from the pdf i hope you understood the concept thank you very much for watching this video